What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at something really special. We're going to be unboxing the Fugu FGO1. What a name. Or a version of Jetfire, which is made from, it's a KO of the Yamato Arcadia VF1S. So as you know, I'm a huge Jetfire fan. I'm a big collector. I have a lot of Jetfires in my collection. And when I saw this, I definitely was interested just because the jet mode and all the parts are so beautiful. What I didn't realize is it was going to come in this amazing package. Pretty bold of them. I mean, it actually says Jetfire down here on the package. Fugu or Fugu. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is a pretty bold move to, to package it like this with the artwork and the name. It amazes me. So I pre-ordered it. I wanted to get it before it gets taken off the market. Uh, it is a K of the uh, uh, Yamada Arcadia, but they've recolored it here. So it doesn't have the Transformers logos, but up here it says Transformers. So why not go a little bit extra step and put the Transformers logo right on there? You might as well. It's on the box. Um, it did come with this extra box, which we are going to un unbox here. But just, just the box itself is so cool. Here you got product image of him in uh, robot mode. And in jet mode. On the back, you've got the literally the Transformers box art. You know, it is a world transform where things are not, where what they seem, it is a world of Transformers, world of heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons. At this point, you might as well just go all in. Uh, but yeah, really, I'm really shocked that they went this far. On the top, it does show the transformation from jet into robot mode. It is more Macross style than it is Transformers style. And as you know, the history behind Jetfire. But I'm not going to go into that today. Let's get it open. And it does open right here. So we'll take this out. We've got missile pods. We've got four of those. And it looks like they're painted a little bit with red and black details. Man, there's so much here. We have some bigger missiles. It does have the Maycross uh, symbols on it instead of Transformers. I mean, it is literally a copy of Maycross, but we've got these double missiles here with the little adapter to hold it on. I think these are AV fillers for his sides. We'll figure that out. And then we have the seat, which I'm not sure why it comes with this separately, but and then you have a pilot done in translucent. This is painted nicely. Uh, I don't know what these are, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Hmm, interesting. We got more missile pods. This is crazy. So, let's see, do these do anything? They got detail on the front and back. I feel like these should do something, but um, I don't see it for now, so I'll just set those aside. You get four of those. And that's it for that one. Let's move on to the next one. I don't know, maybe this is the extra box you get if you order the deluxe set. This is the deluxe, and there was a standard and a deluxe, and you could order either one. Yeah, okay, I think this is what you get if you get deluxe. You get the stand, it's like nice heavy die cast, beautifully painted. It's great. More heavy die cast, beautifully painted. It's, it's very impressive just to see what they are offering here. And it wasn't cheap either, but I guess these things, these types of figures are expensive. Oh, uh, here's the clear parts. I'm not, I think you only get this if you got the deluxe. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just open one. So you don't have to sit here watching me open it, but that's cool. Clear parts for the armor, the fast pack. I'm just going to set these aside for now. We got another adapter piece. Yeah, it looks like the jet would sit right here. Either way. That's pretty cool. 
You know, I have to figure out how that attaches. And then we got this alternate hands. So we have outreaching hand. We have other different. So one is like a soft non-robotic and the other one is like it's got sections so they're very different then we got a pointing hand we got a soft pointing hand then we got two fists and again these are part of the stand I'll have to figure out how those work all right let's keep going here and let's get to the main event See if this is taped shut. No. We have the backpack adapter, I think. We have the arm armor. Looks like it's just uh it's got a coat of paint, I think. It looks like it's got a finish on, it's hard to tell. So we get two of those. And we the other part of the armor, the arm. Done in red, white, or red, silver, and black. It's hard to tell. I can't tell if they have a finish or not. We have the leg armor. That is really gorgeous. The black is painted. It's got UN Spacey here. I'm definitely going to be covering that up somehow. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. And then we got the rocket boosters or his engines for the top. This uh, fastback armor or fastback boosters, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. I do wish they had um, at least taken those off so we could put Autobot logos. I'm definitely going to put one over the top, but yeah, very, very nice looking. It feels nice. The quality is nice. It doesn't feel cheap or like KO-ish, even though it is kind of a KO. Here's the gun. It does say UN Spacey. It is very Macross-like. Oh, we got... Oh, that is cool. Bro. I love that. I don't have a card like this. Yeah, I have I have Skyfire, but I don't have this. I don't know why I'm so excited about, her, about a card. He does have tech specs. You have product images here, and then you got a nice that artwork. I love having this. All right, and then we got, I guess, instructions. Fifteen steps for transformation. Oh, okay. It's got Gerwalk mode, so it's nine, ten steps of Gerwalk mode. And then another 15 steps to robot mode. So 10, 25 total. I can't believe they did this. <laughs> they literally put transformers right on it. And it says Jetfire. They literally don't care. Like, come get us, Hasbro. Or whoever. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Uh, this is the tech spec card for... The back of the box, so you can see his numbers there. Even though he's got his own card, you don't really need this. But still, attention to detail on this thing. <laughs> you know, very nostalgic G1 feel. And here is the figure. Let's get the box out of here. And first impressions of this is it's very small. It's definitely smaller than the G1 Jetfire. Uh, but it feels very solid. It doesn't feel like it's flimsy or breaking. You can open up that. I wonder why it comes with the extra seat. I actually don't know. Is this for display maybe? Maybe for display, but yeah, it looks really good. Here's the bottom, pretty clean. Oh, I guess you're supposed to fold these out too. Yeah, really nice, really nice looking. Um, it's pretty light. It doesn't have a lot of die cast in it, so just be aware of that. Uh, but as far as quality, at least so far, it feels solid. There's nothing loose or 
falling out. We'll see when we transform it. I'm definitely interested to see, is it better quality than that Kits Concept figure, which is absolute trash for the price point, especially like over $200. So I'm excited for this. Looks good already. I can see the head. So stay tuned for the review. Obviously, I'm going to be getting this up, checking out all these accessories. But I'm, I'm super excited for this. Let's just end with uh, getting his landing gear out because I want to set him down. And you might need a spudger because they're pretty tight panels. Is that die cast? No, uh, that might be die cast. So that feels, it feels good. Feels solid this way. Yeah, this way. And then, all right, there you go. We got all the landing gear out. Uh, it doesn't really roll. Once these tires are seized up, let me see if I can, I can make it better. Okay, there's a little bit of paint in here, so it's a bit tight. Just get it rolling, because I can, I can tell, yeah, there's, there's paint in there. So get these rolling, and that'll probably fix it. Just gotta break away the, break away the paint. There we go. That's rolling now. Well, this tire gets a little hung up. All right, and then we'll do this one. That one's rolling. There we go. That's rolling a little bit better. All right, well, stay tuned for the review. I'm definitely excited for this. We'll get this guy checked out, and we'll see you then.